This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. We're down at York Hall for the JD Next Gen Show. With me, heavyweight Martin McCauley. Martin, it's been a while. How are you, mate? Yeah, I'm okay. And you? Uh, I'm so happy to see you again, Big Ma. So, have been a long time I didn't, we didn't meet. So, I'm so happy to see you again. It's great to see you as well, Martin. Now, you're obviously here to watch the boxing this evening. You've politely took some time out to come and speak to me. But as I understand it, have you been down here doing some sparring? You've been sparring with Daniel Dubois, I believe. Could you just talk to me about that work? How's that been going? Yeah, I was here now uh, since ma- Monday. And uh, I came here to spar Daniel Dubois. So he's helping me to prepare my fight and I'm helping him. So we help each other with the good sparring. And today i done 10 rounds with him. So it's, it's going well. Yeah. Now, as we know, Daniel faces Nathan Gorman on July 13th. Very good domestic fight for the British title. You're someone who spent a lot of time around Daniel in the gym. I just wanted to know how you see that fight going. Do you expect Daniel to win that fight? Yeah, yeah. I'm not respecting Daniel to win, but I wish them good luck because both of them, they are good boxer. Daniel's got power and uh, Gomez has got speed, hand speed. You know. I can't talk about that because we see all of us, what happened to AJ, you know. So... I wish both of them good luck because I spoke both of them, so I know both of them, so the best must win. But it's going to be a good fight for me. Now, last time you were here at your call fighting, you faced Michael Hunter. It was the first defeat of your career. Uh, you've since came back with a good win against Marius Wack in Poland. Could you talk to me about that fight? We haven't caught up since this fight. How nice was it to get back in there with a decent heavyweight and, and get a win under your belt? Yeah, you know, sometimes people they are saying that when we lose, we learn from mistake. Uh, Michael Hunter, and I don't understand. The, Michael Hunter fight it was my second fight to fight here in uh, in, uh, in London. But uh, I always feel like tired when I'm fighting here in London. I don't know why. Uh, it happened. It happened. I was not uh, uh, in the mood, so. Before the fight, I had a call from back home to my father about my me and my wife. So I was a little bit not much in Bacole. And people can see now who is really much in Bacole in Polish, you know. So I stopped the big everweight who never get stopped like that before. So I'm looking forward for the next one. As you mentioned, on to the next one. When can we expect to see you back in action? What kind of names are you targeting? Who does Martin Bacoli want to fight in the remainder of the year? Yeah, yeah. I hope, I hope maybe I can get there today or tomorrow. Uh, my manager is working on that, so I'm ready to fight. So it's after Michael Hunter until now, it's like uh, two or three months. So I need to be in the ring and uh, fight again. So maybe today, I hope, hope so. Today, maybe I'll get the date and the name of the opponent, then I can... Uh, uh, let my fan and everyone know in social media. It's been a good couple of weeks for your family. We saw your brother, Ilunga Makabu, record record a victory. I'm sure you were watching. What did you make of the fight? Oh, that was a good fight. A very good fight. I know that man. I learned boxing from him. Uh, he's like my number one coach, you know. <laughs> so I was so happy to see that fight. But it but was a very tough fight. Tough two, two guys. <clears throat> Powerful, sorry about that powerful it's very nice and uh, what i like is like uh, the, f- the fight is a classic fight for that was not Juju Macabo. i used to know he worked hard so i can i'd say good luck to him for the t- all title fight because he's number one now challenger so he's having big fight coming soon we don't know who's because the wbc is vacant now so we don't know who's going to face so I wish him good luck. Right now he's in Congo, so they call him to 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 present the belt in, in my country. To the, uh, the president call him, so he's back home now. Right now, so it's very good for family, for fans, and for everyone who like Junior Macau. Yeah. The cruiserweight division was blown wide open when Usyk moved up, and the belts became free. Yeah. A good win for your brother. Do you expect him to reach the pinnacle once again and become world champion once again? Yeah, yeah, that is uh, what I always dream. Me, I always dream to see him an old champion. So it's now, this is the last chance for him. I told him that to the phone. I called him, I said, hey, man, this is the last chance that. No, now the WBC is vacant. Now you are number one challenger. 
because that will be the silver. So go back to the gym, work hard. So you must win this one. Don't make mistake the same uh, mistake against Tony 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 Bello. So this time I think it will come 100 Junior Macabu. Oh, I know. So. Now, someone you've spent a lot of time with, uh, Anthony Joshua, you've shared many, many rounds with over the last couple of years. We saw him lose his heavyweight unifi unified title uh, a couple of weeks ago against Andy Ruiz, a big upset. Uh, were, you, were you shocked by this? And, and do you expect Anthony to come back and win his belt back in the rematch? Of course, I'm shocked because we know fight is only one night, but we, we suffer in the gym for three, two months or hours. I was so sad about that because you know me and AJ we not only more, no more uh, sparring partner but we are now friends we know we can share and we can talk like a friend and I was a little bit shocked so someone will help I was wish him to to win but uh, it can happen to anybody lost I send him a message I say champ go back to the to the gym work hard so come back and win and take your title back so and I hope he's here in the UK he will try his best to, to take his title back I hope so yeah. last weekend we saw Tyson Fury return to the ring spectacular second round knockout victory over Tom Schwartz did you watch the fight Martin uh, yeah I do I watch I watch the fight it's a good fight but uh, Tyson he came to win the fight but the opponent he was like a, he came for money you know it was no he was not in mood like he go to fight someone and uh, it happened maybe maybe he was not ready for that so he just jumped on the chance because of money but he must go back to the gym and work hard and come back again maybe but he's a good boxer he's a good boxer Tyson is better he's got more experience than him he stopped him second round so he have to come back again maybe with someone else but that is that was a uh, a uh, power fight, you know, it was not like a, a good fight to people to watch, like uh, Tyson and uh, Wilder, you know, yeah, but it's a good, it's a box, it can happen, you know, yeah. I'm interested to know your opinion on the heavyweight division, we've got Deontay Wilder, WBC champion, Tyson Fury, lineal champion, Anthony Joshua takes Andy Ruiz on later in the air for the unified heavyweight championship, you've been in the ring, in the gym with some of the world's best heavyweights. Who do you right now view as the world's best heavyweight? Like you say now, people talking about Tyson, people talking about Wilder, people talking about AJ, to, and I would, now we have a new champion, uh, Andy. So I think I, don't, I can't pick anybody, I pick myself <laughs> because <laughs> I'm like there, I'm everywhere. So we are all everywhere and I'm on my way now, you know. Like I always tell you, I'm not scared of anybody, I want anybody. So this year, I hope, this year, end of the year, I must be in the top 10. So if I fight this this month, maybe end of month, end of year, I have to fight maybe two or three fights. So my hope is to be in the top 15 so I can face the all top men. Okay, Martin, I won't keep you much longer because I know you'll be dying to get back in there and catch some of the action. So thank you very much for speaking to Boxing Social. It was lovely to see you. Thank you, me too.